So Varnay sunglasses. If you've heard of them or you're familiar with them, you've probably heard of the glacier frame. If you're not familiar with them, then you're gonna learn a new thing today. So the Varnay Glacier, I've talked about it in another video, but it's been a while and I haven't really had the big and the small one to compare. So what we're gonna do today is talk about the Glacier model in general and its normal size and its extra large size. So the VL1315, which is these three and the front here and then this one here are the standard size. So that's what's gonna fit most people. It's normal, medium, medium, large fit, depending on exactly what your head's like. And it can be adjusted a little bit to fit a little bit smaller, a little bit larger, like all frames with just a little bit of fine tuning from an optician. As far as the overall fit, now the 1315 is pretty good on me. I don't have somewhere to sit my glasses. Holy crap, okay. So the 1315, I'm quite fond of this white just because I like something different and with a lot of pop to it. Now this, you can see, has that nice leather shield that really tucks up good all the way around the front of the face. So you don't get any light coming in around, underneath, above, from the sides, really anywhere. And the reason for that and the intended purpose of these is adventure mountain climbing and out on the glaciers in the Arctic where there's a lot of bounced and reflected light coming from all directions and you really need to control that to properly protect the eyes. That's what this is for. <coughs> so it looks cool but it was actually designed for a purpose and function. So yeah. We end up with a really cool look out of it, but it all serves a purpose. Like the little leather strap here is actually to keep that, believe it or not, from sticking to the, no coat, the nose. I can't talk today. So that leather wrap is to keep the metal and the titanium in the middle from sticking to the bridge of the nose when it's really, really freaking cold. Speaking of being on glaciers, right? So that's the 1315 in one of their newest colors in the white, which I'm kind of partial to because it's got a little bit of the retro feel to it with the side shields they used on those. You can see that's strapped on. The leather is actually really soft and flexible in this case. Yeah, there we go. So that one actually folds over rather than opening and closing in the traditional like the rest of them. You can make it do it either way, but like all of them, that middle piece and the side shields are removable. Now, not all models come with that piece on the middle, so that's something you wanna watch out for if you're using these for their intended purpose. You'll wanna step up and get one of those that has that bridge protection as well. Now, not a lot of people use them for that. It's just something to kind of keep in the back of your mind again if using as intended which we don't always do again they just look really cool so now we're going to jump to the 1709 now this thing is absolutely massive it doesn't fit me nearly as well but just to show a little bit you can see it goes down much deeper and sitting right there on the cheeks on me which is why i'm not a fan of it it still wraps around pretty good as long as you don't actually tuck these shields up to the magnet you can still get that full protection all the way around. And that still, if you like an oversized sunglass, it fits a normal size face pretty well. I'm not even really that mad at that, but you can see again here that shield's not actually all the way out. So once that's done, you kind of lose some of the benefit and protection. It's so big, I can't even keep it on myself right now. So there you go. With proper adjustment, that can be fixed if you are a big fan of the oversized look. There's always ways around it, but Another feature that's really cool on all of these, and I'm gonna switch back to the 1315 just because it's a little bit lighter and easier to work with, is that they all come with an integrated strap. So those lock in back here, and give me just a second, I'll show you how that looks. And they do, of course, come with that strap included in each one, depending on the model, determine the strap. Some of them have leather, some of them are vinyl, some of them, actually, I don't think any of them are vinyl, but they're canvas or leather, at least. This one is one of the leather ones, but you can see that actually locks into the temple, which is a really nice benefit. So if you do happen to get knocked and bumped around and the glasses fall off, they're not going flying down to the bottom of the cliff and land in a million pieces. If it's possible to destroy one of these into a million pieces, they are pretty heavy duty. So speaking back to the construction, let's hop onto that for a second. You have a full titanium chassis with these all the way around from the temple to the frame front, which wraps all the way around the frames. And you'll see you've got that thin metal 
all the way around and the acetate trim ring is encased in that so you've got solid titanium with acetate in the middle and that's used as a bumper ring for these lenses so you'll see they don't protrude out past the front of that now of course some of the prescription lenses you can run into that especially the plus prescriptions as you get up to that two and three range which is going to be the upper limits of the glass lenses with varnay anyways um, but those you can run into issues where if they land face down it can hit just right and crack that lens from a hefty fall it's not going to do it from just eye level for most people unless it lands on the wrong surface right we know glass is kind of brittle so if you hit it in one tiny point just right you can shatter it pretty easily just something to keep in mind not something that really happens often but something to keep in mind but that is the nice benefit of that acetate trim ring. And of course, with all of these, they do dress down. And give me just a second, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So by dress down, I mean the side shields, the nose piece, all of that are removable to the point where you're left with just a really cool modern aviator. So they can be used in a lot of different situations. Again, it's a pretty cool frame to begin with. I'm still getting used to that mirror back there. But there you go, there is a nice overview of the 1315, 1709, the features they come with, the differences between the two. Overall function and build, they're gonna be the same. It's really just that sizing difference. Now, if you're interested in more videos like this, definitely like, follow, subscribe along. If there is something in particular I missed or that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing your feedback and I will catch you guys next time.